the other seeming error that many of you are making is looking at the movement of the outer shell, the coconut as I have been calling it. And saying that this coconut has to become or feel like or think like the ocean. What I have been saying is we are trying to fit this insight that we are having about ourselves and we are trying to fit it into this body-mind contraption in some way. But that cannot happen. So, because the insight you are having about yourself is that you are much beyond this time and space, beyond this manifest universe. And this body-mind is just a tiny aspect of this manifest universe. So trying to fit that, which is not limited to these three dimensions anyway, four dimensions including space anyway, including time. Is an impossibility. You are dimensionless. If I have a sheet of paper and I tell you, can you fill a bucket of water in this and bring? It's two dimensions. Your container is three dimensions. You cannot fill water in a sheet of paper. In the same way, this body is an object within time and space. We cannot fit the being which is beyond all dimensions into this. So this is just an aspect of this being. But if you say, oh, see, Yesterday, this happened to me. I did like this. And you are again mistaking the coconut to be the ocean. So don't wait for the symptoms of your freedom to start appearing in the coconut. <laughs> if they have to appear, they appear. That has nothing to do with your reality. Dr. Sarod is here. Don't have to wait for the diagnostics of the coconut to confirm that timeless, spaceless being. I'm not telling you about something which is happening tomorrow or in the future. I'm not telling you about something that you have to find in this spatial world. When you recognize that you exist, the basis of this recognition, is it contained in time and space? This existence, you say, I am, is it subject to time or space? Already left the universe. <laughs> you left the universe. In this moment of recognition, you are not in this phenomenal realm. And then you try to bring it back to this contain, seeming container. So when we say, have I got it or not? Uh, will people start recognizing me for the truth that I have discovered? Exactly. Why doesn't my family see that I am free? <laughs> this kind of thing. We're still talking about an identification with one aspect of the play. You are seeing that the entirety of the play is just the movement of light and sound that you yourself as the projector is making. You are the light of all things, not this body. 
pure light animates this entire universe and the body is just one aspect of that. Pure light animates the sun. There is no sun unless you are. So we have believed the mind's version of you, which is this limited version. But something has never felt at home completely with that version. Nobody ever completely feels at home with the idea of just being a body. That's why even those who come to satsang, even those who don't come to satsang, will say things like, I will rest only when I'm dead. Or I must have had this experience in my past life. Even those. When somebody passes away, much of the world says, may they rest in peace. But if they were just the body, who is left to rest in peace? So nobody has completely felt at home with just this notion of being the body. 